Hello, sweet friends. Welcome to my channel, Lazy Creek Homestead, where I hope to be an inspiration to you on the homestead, mom life, and especially in the kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to share with you four delicious box cake recipes. We are going to get into four different cupcakes. I love to take a box cakes mix and kind of just zhuzh it up. And one of my favorite hacks is to replace whatever it says on the back of the box for water to use milk and then also oil to use melted butter and then I like to add an extra egg. It gives you a moist fluffy cake every time and then you can just go crazy with the different flavors. So let's get in the kitchen and I will share with you four of my favorite box cake mix recipes. All right, I got a function to go to and I've had a long week and I got to be there in a couple hours and I need to bring a dessert. So I'm going to zhuzh up a box cake mix. We are going to make a maple flavored cupcake and a brown butter, hopefully, icing to go on top. So we're going to make this cake kind of like the directions say. I'm going to use a butter instead of oil and I'm going to use milk instead of water and then I'm going to add in some um, maple extract. All right, so we have one cup of milk, one stick of butter, which equals a half a stick of butter, and our three eggs. We're going to stir that all up, and then we'll add in our maple extract to make this maple cupcakes. So we got our vanilla extract in the cap here, and we're just going to pour a little bit in to our batter. And then we'll just add whatever is left back into our homemade vanilla extract. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. And we added about four to five drops of the maple extract. And we're going to give this a good mix. And our batter will be... Oh, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to add a dash of cinnamon give it a good mix and then our batter will be ready to put in our cupcake liners so our batter is all mixed up i gave it a little bit of taste and i did go back and add in um probably about five more drops of the maple extract so all together i think i did 10 drops and i added a little bit of cinnamon so we're gonna get these in liners and bake so we got our cupcakes in the liners my batter was a little thick, so we didn't quite get a full 24. And we're going to get this in a 350 degree oven. So I am going to melt a stick and a half of butter for our brown butter frosting. We're, that's what we're doing. We're browning the butter. So we've got this on medium heat, and we're going to let the butter melt until we start to see little brown bits in the bottom of the pan and then we'll take it off the heat and let it cool so it's really foamy now so right after this foamy stage you'll start to see kind of like the milk fat separate and then just after that it will, the foam will clear up a little bit you'll start to get your brown butter all right at this stage the butter is almost starting to smell a little nutty um, it's hard to see on camera, but it's starting to turn like a tan color. So we're just going to keep with the stirring. And we're almost done. Alright, at this point you can really see the butter has separated. And it's hard to tell, but we are just about getting the starts of our little brown bits in the bottom of the pan. So we're going to let this go for maybe another minute or so and then remove it from the heat all right now that we remove this from the heat it's still warm but you can really see those brown bits at the bottom of the pan there i'm going to put it in a mason jar and put it in the fridge because i'm short on time and i need to get going on this frosting
All right, so our brown butter has started to kind of re solidify, and now we are going to add some powdered sugar. Um, I'm going to start with about three cups or so. We're going to mix this all together and turn it into icing. You can really see the brown bits from the butter now. So I have about two and a half cups of powdered sugar. I added a little bit, probably another five drops of the maple extract, a tiny bit of the vanilla extract. Now I'm going to add about two tablespoons of milk and I'm just going to stir this and hopefully we have brown butter icing. And there's our brown butter maple frosting. Now let's get these cupcakes frosted so we can get to our event. So here is our brown butter maple vanilla cupcakes done and ready for the advent. Quick and easy, we just showed up a box cake and I've tested it out. They're delicious. And we're back with another cake mix. We're going to take this box of yellow cake mix and we're going to take that's about a 16 ish ounce can of pumpkin. I had a bigger can, so it was about two cups is about half of it. Two eggs in my case we got farm fresh eggs and we are going to make pumpkin cupcakes i see a lot of people do this with a spice cake mix and i have vanilla cake mix on hand so i'm going to add in a little bit of cinnamon and a little tiny dash of nutmeg and we're going to add in our pumpkin and eggs and mix it up and it's that simple little bit of cinnamon dash of nutmeg our pumpkin puree two eggs and we're just going to stir it up I almost forgot to add some of our homemade vanilla extract. I like to pour it into the cap just so I don't accidentally put way too much in there. All right, so we have this all nice and mixed up. I just mixed it by hand with this spoon. It was very easy. And we're going to get them into our cupcake liners. All right, so we got our pumpkin cupcakes in our lighters in our cupcake pan, and we're going to put it in a 350-degree oven, and we're going to let them bake. All right, I whipped together some cream cheese frosting for our pumpkin cupcakes. I just had some 8 ounces of softened cream cheese, and I put in, um, I didn't actually measure, but I'd say maybe a cup, cup and a half of powdered sugar, and I just blended that all together. And our pumpkin muffins are out of the oven and they smell delicious. We're gonna let them cool and then we're gonna frost them with our cream cheese frosting. All right, here are our pumpkin cupcakes with cream cheese frosting. I probably should have let them cool a little bit longer, but we're gonna have a movie night and we're ready for these cupcakes. So, I'm going to show you this one. I took a bite of it. It is delicious. I really enjoyed them. And they were so simple and easy to make. Alright, we're back with another quick and easy but delicious box cake mix recipe. We're going to do cupcakes again. I got my box cake mix here. And we're going to do apple cider cupcakes. We need to use some of our homemade vanilla. I got a half a cup of applesauce. We got a cup of apple cider. I chopped up three smallish apples and I have four eggs here. You could use three large eggs but I got two guinea eggs in there. If you can see two of those 
yolks are a little bit smaller. So I decided to go with four eggs, but three large eggs is fine. And we're gonna get this together. All right, we also have two tablespoons of melted butter. So we're gonna just pour everything into our cake mix. Apples. Our applesauce. And our apple cider. And then I like to give my vanilla a good shake. And then I pour a little bit into the cap just so we don't glug a whole bunch of vanilla in there and make our cupcakes taste vodka. <laughs> all right, and we're just gonna mix it up. So we got our batter all mixed together. We got our oven preheated to 350 degrees and we're just gonna scoop this mix into a cupcake pan. All right, we're just gonna keep filling up our cupcake tin until it's all done and get it in the oven. All right, so our cupcakes are out of the oven. We had enough to do my big 24 pan and a, another 12 actually. So we're gonna take our cupcakes and we're just gonna dip them in our melted butter here. And then I have a brown sugar cinnamon mix here. Um, you could use white granulated sugar or sugar substitute, whatever you would prefer. We're just gonna dip our... And here is what our apple cider cupcakes look like. Kids have already tried a few and they say they are delicious. They are so good. I definitely suggest you give them a try. And they're nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Today we're going to try out a new recipe that I recently saw on another awesome page, The Hagrid Life. I'll try to link that down below in the description box. We're going to take, it was two bananas, but I have three left. So we're going to use these three, two eggs and a box of cake mix. She used um, vanilla cake mix in her video, but we're going to do chocolate banana peanut butter muffins because we all know I got to add my own spin. So let's smash up our bananas. Okay, we have our bananas smashed up in our bowl. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna add two eggs and we'll mix that up. We'll mix up these eggs and the bananas. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. A really awesome friend of mine went to Amish country recently and picked me up some vanilla extract from there so we can do about a glug because you know I don't measure well and then I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of peanut butter we'll stir in our half a cup of peanut butter so right now we have three smallish mushed up bananas two eggs and a half a cup of peanut butter and then I'm going to add in a devil's food cake mix. I recently got some cake mix on sale. And if you guys know me, you know I love my cake mix hacks. All right. We got the cake mix in with the eggs and the bananas and peanut butter. And we're just going to make this mix, this mixture all together really well. And then we're going to put it in our muffin tins and cook it in the oven at 350 degrees for, I assume, about as long as your cake mix directions would say. So our mixture is all mixed up. It's kind of thick batter, but we're going to scoop it into our lined cupcake tins and bake it in the oven. And, I mean, who doesn't love chocolate, peanut butter, banana? And this was simple and easy. 
Our chocolate banana peanut butter muffins are out of the oven and smell delicious.